Welcome to a fabulous edition of the Thrift Store One Down, where we bring Hollywood home on a budget. He's been called the Dark Horse of the Foodie World, but he is here to stay and wane. This is Milk Street Kitchen's cookbook, Christopher Kimball Milk Street, The New Home Cooking. If you want to be why he's being called the Dark Horse of the Foodie World, it's because that this was the project that got him in legal doo-doo with America's Test Kitchen, for which he was the face of for 16 years on television. They sued him on October 31st on Halloween last year, and I wonder if they settled the lawsuit out of court, because we're not hearing any news about that now. I guess both parties wanted to set their legal precedents aside and focus on what really matters. Encouraging people to use their kitchens and to make fabulous home-cooked meals. Both America's Test Kitchen and Milk Street Kitchen share that same philosophy. But this is Christopher Kimball Unleashed. And you want to know why ATK is suing Chris? It's because he's been developing this project while he was still employed by ATK. He's been quote-unquote stealing some recipes. He's been trying to copy most of ATK's interior look for Milk Street Kitchen. And he's been selecting members of the ATK Test Cook family to become a part of Milk Street. And indeed, some of the Milk Street some of the Milk Street test cooks are indeed from America's Test Kitchen, like Erica Bruce, Matthew Card, and Rebecca Masters, and Diane Unger. Even Deborah Bodie, who was ATK's former publicist, is now the director of media relations for Milk Street Kitchen. And Christopher's wife, Melissa Baldino, who was Christopher's personal assistant, then executive producer, co-executive producer of America's Test Kitchen alongside her husband. She also handles stuff in media too. Now I will say this. It doesn't really matter whether or not you've been getting some people from your former company to participate in your own endeavors. Everybody shares the same goal. Getting people to cook at home. And let me tell you, this is Christopher Kimball Unleashed. The recipes in here are bolder, fresher, faster, more vibrant, more universal. I mean, this is Christopher Kimball, unlike we've ever seen him before. Unlike we ever tasted him before. And that doesn't sound as creepy as you may think it sounds. For more than 25 years, the bow tie guy has promised home cooks that his recipes would work. Now, with his team of cooks and editors at Milk Street, he promises that a new approach to the kitchen can elevate the quality of your cooking far beyond anything you thought possible. Christopher Kimball's Milk Street, the first cookbook drawn from Milk Street's public television show, South Before a Live Audience, delivers more than 125 new recipes arranged by type of this, from grains and salads to a new way to scramble eggs to simple dinners and 21st century desserts. At Milk Street, there are no long lists of hard-to-find ingredients, strange cookware, or all-day simmers. Skillet chard, Brussels sprouts, Japanese fried chicken, rum soaked chocolate cake, Thai-style coleslaw, and Mexican chicken soup all deliver big flavors and textures without the need to learn a new culinary language. These are more than just good recipes. They teach a simpler, bolder, healthier way to eat that will change your cooking forever, making it a pleasure, not a chore. Welcome to the new home cooking. Welcome to Milk Street. And if you feel the need to get social, welcome to their social media handles. This is from the Hatchet Book Group from Little Brown and Company. Retail price is 40 bucks. I picked it up for $7.99 and I picked it up for 50% off. Now this book came out in September. The Milk Street TV show came out in the fall too. September too. So, this is one of the more recent additions to the thrift store that I have purchased. And let me tell you, I don't care if he's from America's Test Kitchen or Milk Street. Christopher Kimmel is on a place in my home and in my heart. And I'm more than willing to support his endeavors. However pissed off the people at ATK may be. But I don't think they're pissed off anymore. If you want to learn more about the lawsuit, the link is in the description below to check out why we are suing ChristopherKimbo.com. And I'm not kidding you, that is the URL. Thanks for watching the Thrift Store Rundown, bringing Hollywood home on a budget.